Guys, Ed Walters here. Welcome to the TaylorMade Performance Center here at TrueFit Golf Center in Warrington. I've moved out of my uh, teaching studio uh, for this video uh, because today comes the first episode of a new series called Trackman Tuesday. Um, this series is all designed about using Trackman data to help you guys understand and improve your golf a little bit more. Uh, in today's subject, I want to talk about how you guys can hit the golf ball further. We've just watched over the weekend Dustin Johnson hitting the ball 433 yards nearly getting a hole in one um, so today I wanted to start with the driver we all want to hit it further and I wanted to use Trackman to help you guys understand that only a couple of small changes can increase the distance you hit the golf ball dramatically so let's take a look right guys so talking about hitting the ball further with the driver so I've got my driver it's my driver I've used in the last year's the M1 it's 9.5 degrees in loft with a standard uh, stiff shaft in it uh, so Trackman's behind us that's going to give us the data we're going to be looking at angle of attack we're going to be looking at launch angle we're going to be looking at carry distance total distance that's it how the first two angle of attack and launch angle will influence what happens with your carry and what happens with your total distance with the driver so first of all what I'm going to do is something that I see all the time ball position back in the stance and then we're hitting down and on the ball from swinging over and across to the left so i'm just going to hit a couple of shots with that feeling first i'm going to exaggerate the feeling just so we can get the <coughs> the effect in there of what i would see quite a lot on the driving range and actually on golf course as well so i've got the stick in here so you can see that the ball position is further back if i'm going to move a little bit more there it was only about a head width back i'm going to move it almost into the sort of fractionally forward of the central point okay let's hit this first one so very very low it's first thing we notice so angle of attack there was 4.8 down 7.2 launch angle 189.5 carry distance 200 just over total 202 203 okay let's hit another one Okay, that one was even lower. Let's have a little look at how that one is. That's six degrees down. Okay, that one is a three degree launch angle. So hitting down with more 169 yard carry. So a little bit more rollout on that one, 214. Right, now I'm gonna change how I launch the golf ball. I'm gonna feel like I hit upwards on the ball. Feeling like I hit what's on the ball, I want to feel if I move this way, I'm going to move the ball position so it's closer to my left foot, so you'll see my foot and this stick really close together. So my centre, my hub is further back, and from that point I'm going to feel like I swing a little bit more to the right. Going to help me hit upwards on it. That feeling of swinging to the right, that movement of the ball further forward is going to help me to hit up on it. So I'm going to hit two in this manner, so I'm going to put my foot really close to the stick there. So I'm now here right behind the golf ball here and I'm going to feel like I swing at you guys at the camera and I'm going to hit upwards and we'll see what happens to those launch numbers, angle of attack and then the distance. So that ball instantly higher, 2.9 hitting up, 14 degrees of launch angle. 236 carry for a 266 total. So it's a cold day, it's about three degrees. Cold range balls. The warmer it is, the warmer the core of the golf ball is, the further that will go. But the difference there, more importantly, between hitting upwards and hitting down, I've changed those last two as we'll have a little look in a minute quite dramatically. I'm going to make another swing exactly the same way so same ball position same feeling of swinging down towards the camera so a swing direction to the right feeling like i hit upwards on this ball and i've missed hit that one hit it right off the toe side four degrees up 18 degrees of launch angle 
229k 259 total but now let's have a look at all those uh, numbers from those four shots in greater detail right guys so if we're looking at those numbers in there i'm just going to pop you want to see them there on the screen now so we've got shot number one was a minus 4.8 Eight down with launch angle 7.2 so carry distance on there 189 total distance 203 shot number two was six down so even more hitting down as I was trying to hit a bit of a slice launched at 3.8 degrees so really didn't get off the ground 169 for a 214 so it had lots more sort of run less spin because it didn't launch as high then we looked at hitting upwards how then hitting up on the golf ball can improve how far you can hit the golf ball regardless of anything else you know we haven't looked at strike we haven't looked at speeds we haven't looked at spin rates we're literally just looking at launch and angle of attack so the angle of attack then positive 2.9 degrees 12.9 launch angle 236 for a 266 so we're looking there at a carry distance change of over 60 yards just by changing hitting up and launching so 12 degree launch angle three degrees hitting upwards dramatically hitting the golf ball further the last one four degrees up 17.7 .7, so a little bit less because a bit of a miss hit two point, uh, 229 on the um, carry distance 259 on the total distance so hopefully that's helped you guys of understand how if you're hitting down you're always going to struggle to hit the ball as far as potentially you possibly can and if you can learn to hit upwards on it that's going to drastically improve how far you hit the golf ball regardless of any of the other variables that are going on in your golf swing so it's very very important for you guys to go out there and, and find out go and have a lesson find out what your angles of attack are what your launch angles are so that you can get that feeling of hitting up and start hitting the golf ball further further you get out there you're going to make the game a little bit easier as well because your second shots are going to be from a closer proximity to the green so you're going to be hitting potentially less clubbing which is going to make life a little bit easier post your comments in the box below love to hear your thoughts on Trackman Tuesday, episode one. Love to hear your thoughts. Love also to hear some comments from you guys on what you would like to see through Trackman Tuesday, whether it be club face, spin numbers, um, distances, strike patterns, smash factors, all those kind of things. You let me know, post comments in the box below. Love to hear your thoughts and incorporate them into future episodes. There's gonna be one obviously every Tuesday given the name. Um, as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoy this format of content as well. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Just click the link in the screen there. You'll be able to take you to subscribe. It's totally free. There's loads of great content already on there and lots more to come from this series and some others already going through the 2018 as always guys you can follow me on social networks links in the description below and i look forward to seeing you guys again next time thanks for watching